So you want to learn how to sew, but you just don't know how to get started. You think about maybe one day making yourself a dress, but you just don't know how to get started. Well, I can help you with that. Welcome to ISO TV with Moray, where you sew and you design. you're going to need to purchase a few items. I'm going to list only the items needed. I'm not going to list any additional accessories that are not needed. So number one, a sewing machine. Go to Walmart and get something under $100, preferably under $50 if you can find it. And I say that because you won't feel too bad when you break something. And yes, when you break something, it's your first sewing machine, you're going to break something. And if it's under $100, you won't really mind that you broke something. Get something under 30 stitches. So when you read your box, make sure it's under $100 and it's under 30 stitches. In the beginning, once you start sewing, you're only gonna use a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. All those other fancy stitches will not matter when you are a beginner. So make sure you just read the box closely and do not get tied into all of, well, this sewing machine does that and it does this. You just need a manual under 100, preferably under $50 sewing machine just to get you a little used to the idea of sewing because when you break it, you won't feel too bad. As for brands of sewing machines, I wouldn't really get too hung up on what type of brand to get. You just need something very basic. I wouldn't suggest getting Brother Over Singer or anything like that when it's your first sewing machine. Just get something that does the job because like I said, you're gonna break it before it breaks on you if you are truly a beginner. Now for my advanced users, okay, you can step it up and go ahead and get something that's more advanced. But a beginner, just don't even worry about what brand to get. Just get something that works and does the job. Also, get thread for your sewing machine. Just get your basic black or white. You do not need to get all the colors of the rainbow to start sewing. Just your basic black or white. Go ahead and pick up a pack of needles that's for your sewing machine. I remember when I first started sewing, I was breaking needles like crazy and I did not buy a pack on hand. So I would break it and garment over. I couldn't finish because I didn't have an extra pack. So go ahead and get a pack of needles according to your sewing machine. Don't just pick up any old pack of needles. <laughs> Done that too. <laughs> go ahead and get pins and pin cushion. Get a good set of pins because I got some cheap pins my first go around and they made these huge holes as I was pinning my fabric down. Get some very good pins. Don't try to get the cheaper brand because when you go to poke your fabric to prepare it to go through your sewing machine, it will make huge holes and not very nice clean holes that will disappear. Now we're gonna talk about items needed to prepare your garment. You need measuring tape. You need measuring tape. You need measuring tape. You need measuring tape. <laughs> it's no way around it. I want to just beat that in you. In order to prepare your piece of fabric, you need to learn how to accurately take measurements. And without measuring tape, you cannot take good measurements. I say that because me, I did not like using measuring tape. I wanted to use a pattern for everything or a template, I would say. I can't even say it was a pattern, it was a template for everything. But if you use measurement tape, you won't have to do this guessing game. All right? Scissors. Go ahead and invest in a good pair of scissors. I can't see you breaking scissors. So I would say go ahead and just, that's something you would definitely want to get that's a good pair and don't want to cheat yourself out of because you're a beginner sewer, you got, you're not really going to know how to make an appropriate cut 
your cuts are going to be kind of not straight and a little jagged. So go ahead and just get a good pair of scissors. I would say under $25. So at an art store. Do not go and just get any kind of scissors. Go to your local art store and get the appropriate scissors for sewing. Also, pick up a pair of peaking shears. I'll, this is, I would say it's needed. When you're a beginner sewer, it's needed. These scissors have a jagged edge uh, on it. And it makes a V cut as you cut um, your garment. And what that does is it prevents your fabric from fraying so easily as you are fiddling and fooling around with it. Certain fabrics will fray at the end. And with a sewing machine, if you don't have a, a serger or overlock machine, you'll get all antsy and wondering what's going on with my fabric. But if you get some peaking shears, yeah, you'll be able to manage the fray in the beginning. It'll kind of control it. I would suggest getting those. That helped me a lot with cutting my edges and preparing to him. So yeah. These are the items that are definitely needed for sewing. Along the way, as we do tutorials, I will list other items that can be used, but this is absolutely basic and needed. I just want you to know that yes, there are other items you can get, but these are for sure needed. You're also going to need okay. some tailor's chalk to make your marks for whatever you're measuring. You definitely need that. Get the washable, machine washable kind. You don't need anything fancy. Me, at first, I got whatever that washed out. I didn't care because sometimes tailor's chalk can be expensive, and I don't know why. It's just chalk, but whatever. Last but not least, you are going to need fabric. Fabric, fabric, fabric. When you are a beginner, make sure you get jersey knit, some type of stretch knit fabric. Don't mess around and get something with no stretch at all. That was my number one mistake. I got a pretty fabric, but I didn't think about the stretch factor. So when I went to make my shirt and put it on, it wouldn't go on because I made it exactly to my measurements and not allowing my arms and shoulders to get through. So definitely pick up, I suggest a jersey knit. Just something, a gray jersey knit, black jersey knit. Very basic, don't go all out and get all this fancy stuff when you first learn how to sew. Trust me, I did it. I wasted a lot of money. I don't want you to do that. So yes, fabric jersey knit, don't get nothing else. I'm not suggesting anything else. I think that's the best way to go. Stretch jersey knit. Well, you guys, I hope you're excited just as I am. Make sure you log into www.isotv.com. That is where you will find detailed tutorials on how to make certain garments. This is my very first YouTube video and post on ISO TV. I look forward to working with everyone. Please comment if you have any questions. Rate, subscribe. Find ISO TV on Instagram. We're there. And let's get sewing.